Let us now get into WCW Thunder. Whoa. April 26, 2000. So wow. 21 years ago. We didn't think about it. We had this one planned for this week. We probably should have did it last week we are not <laughs> for the good anniversary. At dates. <laughs> no, we, it's close enough. It's close enough. Yeah, we tend to we usually find them pretty close though, so it it works out. So we start off with a cold open before the intro. It's a recap of past events to the beat of "Raging Against the Machine" Bulls on Parade. Okay, mm. I was one. I thought that's what it was. Dude, this intro is insane. This is there's, a recap of Nitro, and there's so much going on. There's like so much shit that it hurts my head. Like I can't even <laughs> huge I info. Can't even keep track here. of all of this, dude. There's a fucking the Hummer storyline, the New Blood versus the Millionaires Club. Hogan all this gave, shit's going on at the same Terry time. Terry gave Billy a Hummer. <laughs> <laughs> he hit That's him with it. Awesome. <laughs> Terry <laughs> Bulea. Yeah. yeah, Terry Bulea. <laughs> so let's run uh, this down. Uh, yeah, Hulk Hogan tried to run over Billy Kidman with a Hummer. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. So yeah, he this was a Terry. this was a long <laughs> ongoing thing though. They didn't know who was driving the Hummer for months. I think. Yeah, right? I think Wasn't that was a whole, that was like a big deal. The white Hummer. Well, it was yeah. Terry. <laughs> <laughs> you bring the yellow, I'll supply the red. Your blood. We have Kimberly Page, voted God. the sexiest woman I've God. ever seen in my life. Absolute beautiful by me. <laughs> <laughs> Kimberly Page wants a divorce from DDP because Thank she God. wants me. <laughs> <laughs> and now me and Johnny are in a feud <laughs> over this woman that has no. <laughs> Twenty years after this episode, Kimberly Page wants a divorce. I guess she heard about the Sarah Taker thing, which is understandable. <laughs> Eric yeah, Bischoff, how could DDP yeah. even think of going after Sarah Taker? Sarah you Taker, Kimberly. Eric Bischoff must have done something because DDP attacks Eric Bischoff. Jeff Jarrett then hits DDP <laughs> with a guitar. <laughs> Which happens quite a bit. David Arquette. Which is awesome. <laughs> David Arquette that attacks Eric Bischoff. Uh, and then David Arquette says, if he pins Bischoff tonight, DDP yes. gets a shot at Jarrett for the world title. And somehow everyone agreed to this. They said, sure, whatever. <laughs> Sting gets bloodbath by Vampiro. Uh, and then Vampiro says, like the spider said to the fly. <laughs> Come. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Vampiro bloodbath sting and he said something's gonna happen. <laughs> Hit my fucking music. Hit my Whoa. fucking music. Play that fucking music right now. So I play my fucking music. <laughs> Like the spider said to the fly, play my fucking music. Play my fucking music. <laughs> Skew. <laughs> oh, my stomach hurts. Oh. He grabbed his nuts good. and smelled it. <laughs> and then Muda did too. <laughs> And then everyone started beating up the Kiz Demon. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. It's shiny as hard yet. All right, so. <laughs> that's Nitro. We should have watched this Nitro instead. Jeff Jarrett hits Bishop with the guitar. <laughs> and David Arquette wins. So Great. now. Is DDP versus Jeff Jarrett for the title. In a cage. Yeah, in the cage. So DDP hits the diamond cutter in the cage. Mike Awesome comes in and tries to stop the count. He grabs <laughs> so Lil Nate. Listen, no, this is insane, man. This is, this so is fucking, very insane. This is the most fun. I've never Mike seen awesome a, is a like fucking this idiot. Ever. <laughs> Mike Awesome is climbing into the cage. He's not like trying to get in. This door is very small. So he has to climb through the cage door over the top rope. Somehow he doesn't feel Ganyan directly behind him, <laughs> also climbing into the cage. Mike Awesome gets into the ring. The referee's counting two. Mike Awesome is panicking because he doesn't know how to break up this pin. He grabs the referee and scolds him. Stop, <laughs> Gary. <laughs> then Canyon whoops his ass. The re I've never seen this before. The ref counted to two. Mike Awesome broke up the count and then he just counted to three. Yeah, he just <laughs> said three. That was it. Yeah, that was it. That was uh, so DDP wins. Good. He wins the world title. That's good. Wow, that was an info dump. That was literally that like was, three minutes, and it was just like bam, 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 bam. That is not a part of this show. That is the recap of the last show. Bulls on parade, <laughs> <laughs> dude. So I wasn't a big night, or sorry, I wasn't a big Thunder 
guy? Do you have any recollection of this intro at not all? Not even a little bit. Me neither. It's Tony, just do you, no. dude. It's, it's not a, even the main Thunder one, like the one with the bricks and the. You no, that it's one, the yeah. I think it's like one? the the next yeah, the, like the two thousand one. So mm, yeah, yeah, it's so like this crazy yeah, it's crazy weird. like car crash kind of gimmick, kind of like the Nitro one, honestly. It's like yeah, yeah it's exactly like they must have edited yeah. it to look similar to the Nitro. There's like one. a countdown. There's it's a bunch, a bunch of footage of Hulk Hogan in a short bandana. <laughs> <laughs> Terry, <laughs> Terry and his Goldberg court bandana. vapes on it too. Yeah, it's, it's weird. And they leave in a sign. Did, did you guys see the sign on this? Which they one? Left in a. There's, oh. a, there's a still image of Kevin Nash standing there doing some weird face, and there's a sign for www.dynamitebushapes.com. <laughs> they, they didn't blur it or anything. They just kept the sign in the intro every no, week. It was there. It was paid sponsorship. And fun fact, that sign or that website is still up to this day. Wait, what is it? I'll link what is you it? it? It is yeah, a link me. tournament paintball team in Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, that's awesome. Oh my God. Wow. And it's the most 2000s website. Like, oh my, completely dude, how is it still, still up? 2000 2004 practice and tournament schedule. I'm gonna check the team out. You can check our message board often. It says. Oh, you the got Ron, down. Captain Ape, Christian Shin, Samurai Mike, Dennison, <laughs> Dude. crippled old bastard, <laughs> the cop, <laughs> Cob. He playing paintball since <laughs> dirt covered the field. Jason Monkey Gibson. <laughs> oh That's my awesome. aching, fill in the blank. <laughs> okay. Dude, Jason Monkey Gibson's signature. Catchphrase is it's not who won or lost, it's about who can walk off the field and not be a whining bitch. <laughs> <laughs> my man. That's my fucking guy. <laughs> these are all the DPW wrestlers right here. Wow. I just thought that was wild. They left this in. So these guys got yeah. free website exposure on every Thunder. With every week. Well, DNA. sadly, no one was watching Thunder. So. <laughs> <laughs> so after the intro, we have a show open with Eric <laughs> Bischoff showing up to the venue in a Buick with Jeff yes. Jarrett. Kimberly Page and they are carrying David Arquette. Just before that, they did the whole stage pyro display and set off all the things. And Tony oh, Giovanni says, "Man, buckle yourself into your favorite easy chair." No. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Does now, that first mean? off, I'm not doing that. Second off, they put the pyro in the ring and only one of them went off. It just went <laughs> 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 like hell yeah, it was like a set of them. Like two of them went off. I think. Well, yeah. All right, that's a good way to start Thunder. But yeah, so Bischoff pulls off. They've kidnapped David Arquette and Jarrett drags him to the ring. Jeff Jarrett cuts a promo. Uh, he tells DDP, you know. On out here, this is my world, Mr. My Cox. World. My world, <laughs> my world. <laughs> he said he keeps calling Arquette Mr. Cox, uh, and he says tonight I'm all I'm gonna be all up in his, huh? His, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna get mine. <laughs> I'm gonna, look at this cock. Bischoff wedges Arquette just just for fun. Just he wedges him and then goes to Kimberly Page and goes, <laughs> what smell the fuck my hand. <laughs> Smell this. Jared says, I'm going to beat his 1-800 ass until you show your trailer park trash face out here. My world. Uh, and then deep out, and it's my world. <laughs> he does Free say room. my world a million times on this episode. He won't dude. stop saying it. Because it's his world. So DDP comes out. Jared says, you got something that belongs to me. And DDP mouths, you ain't got shiz. <laughs> Is that what he said? <laughs> he says, he you ain't got shiz. <laughs> oh, I thought he said, you ain't got cheese. <laughs> I said, that don't make any sense. <laughs> he goes, you got something that belongs to me. You ain't got cheese. I ain't got your cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, DDP's got the real WCW belt, too, by the way. The bent one. I would hope so. Hell yeah, dude. The the, Dave Arquette actually tip. wins the real big old. Damn. That's Triple crazy. H didn't even do that. I know. Dave Arquette <laughs> won up again. Jarrett challenges DDP and Arquette to a tag match against him and Bischoff with the WCW title on the line and DDP's like fuck you monkey, <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> monkey. <laughs> jabroni monkey. <laughs> hey, monkey Jared says oh my world, <laughs> my world. You can't, it's my world so you can't go anywhere and then Buff Bagwell and the franchise who are supposedly the tag champions they don't have the titles at all no the whole titles. night <laughs> none <laughs> not, yeah. must have caught them at the night shirt tapings I don't I know I guess so they uh, are standing at the top of the ramp with their arms folded preventing DDP and Canyon from leaving but eventually uh, Luger and Flair show up behind them and attack them. They're still all brawling. DDP and Canyon rush the ring. DDP is arguing with Kimberly, Kimberly and she slaps him. There's a sign in the crowd that says, I'm drunker than Scott Hall. <laughs> <laughs> My man. Scott Hall not nice. on the show at all. <laughs> so DDP has Kimberly gripped up and he's going to do a move to her. And Bobby Heenan is flipping out on commentary. He says, Diamond Cutter, Paul Drive her. Slammer! <laughs> Heenan I, is the best dude, commentator ever, maybe. He's so fucking good. Yeah, he, he is, is incredible. Uh, it ends up with Kimberly low-blowing DDP, though, and all the heels She low-blows a lot of people. 
she does. That's her finisher. Is the low blow. Yeah. <laughs> she as she's leaving, there's a sign in the front row that says "Zoom in on this," and it's it's Tori Wilson just laying on the nitro. <laughs> <laughs> I, I zoomed in on it. I listened. I'm zooming. I was zooming. So we go to a backstage interview. Mean Gene interviewing the cat. <laughs> the fuck the cat what is not f- interested in this at all the cat backstage is doing the robot <laughs> <laughs> mean gene says stop dancing and ernest miller says listen here old man <laughs> you never stop me from dancing and you never touch my james brown collection <laughs> Which, I goes, okay. james brown cd did he say cd CD collection, CD. that's what he said, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah Those yeah. are new which, st- which startles Mean Gene so much that he does not respond at all, and he stares Ernest Miller directly in the eyes and says, Bam Bam Bigelow. <laughs> 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 which Ernest Miller picked up on, as I guess he knew what to we talk about. To move on. And yeah. he talks about Bam Bam. Uh, and his mother. And his mother. And then he says, Mean Gene, leave, and then music starts playing, and he starts dancing again. Yeah, he says, he goes, Mean Gene, I'm going to burn this whole place. I want to dance. The hell with WCW. <laughs> Beep, boop, boop. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. He's breaking it down. That was sick. I love that. So we cut. We get Jeff Jarrett throwing David Arquette around backstage in some random hallway. Uh, it kind of looks like room? a what was this? Aki backstage thing. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, they're saying it's a boiler room. Mr. Cox in the rafters. It looks. Room yeah, it right. looks like one of the like the hallways that connect to like the the saw one room. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna die tonight. <laughs> yeah. We're not. We're not wrestling. You're dying. <laughs> Live or die. <laughs> yeah, he said like, call. Everybody was like call one eight hundred. Having fun yet? Yeah. What is was he you know doing how phone a, numbers work? Was he doing a call collect sponsorship yeah, he, this time or something? Yeah, David Arquette was a one eight hundred guy. He did like uh, okay. Yeah, but that's yeah, not he said, a number. Jeff Jarrett says, "You want to step in my world, Arquette? <laughs> hey, my world? You call one eight hundred my world? Bishop <laughs> <laughs> said, <laughs> I'm about to play my world. <laughs> Bishop says one eight hundred. Are you having fun yet? And then laughs really loud at it. Which, and then, but Arquette also laughs at it. <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> that's a good one. That's that's really good. That was pretty good. <laughs> So it shows a video package of Bam Bam and the cat. Uh, Bam Bam apparently attacked the cat at Spring Stampede. The cat kicked him later on Nitro, and then the cat helped Terry Funk retain like the hardcore title against Bam Bam Bigelow on Nitro. How are you saying his name? Who are you talking about, the cat, or are you talking about Bam Bam? <laughs> what are you saying like that? Bam! Bam Bam! <laughs> The cat. He did get him. This cover I got. Yeah. This must be the worst feud ever. <laughs> this yeah, feud sucks. Great. <laughs> Bam Bam, I feel like Bam Bam hated his like, like NWCW run. It just feels like he did not want to be there. Tony, Bam Bam main event at WrestleMania. <laughs> <laughs> he, he is in the opening match against Ernest Miller. The cat on Thunder. versus Bam he is Bam. So Bigelow. miserable though. He looks like his life he looks has been sucked out like of shit. him. Oh yeah. To be yeah, fair, no. he looks the least like shit here than he does in about that's six months. Fair yeah, enough. That's true. Yeah. Six months. This is, is the beginning of the end. He looks less like up. shit. Yeah, <laughs> less <laughs> shitty. Yeah. <laughs> the cat asked Bam Bam to forgive him. He says, "You're my hero, Bam Bam. I look up to you." All right. <laughs> this was a fair apology, honestly. He was like, "What'd you expect when you attacked me? I gotta attack you back." I, I, like, I thought, yeah, I thought he was really talking some real sense for true. Like, okay. Yeah. He said, "When you attack me from the back, I had no other choice to pay you back." Yeah. I was like, oh, that's a good line. That's I'm gonna fair. use that later. Yeah. Uh, and then he said, you know, let him send another chump out. A chump. A chump. Yeah. <laughs> that here. was a really was great good. line. Oh. Yeah. And then he goes, uh, Bam Bam's like, oh, you know what? Fuck it. I'll leave. I don't care. I mean, I'm just going to get paid the way. And he goes, well, there's one, also one thing I want to tell you before you go. I saw your mom out back, and your breasts are bigger than hers. I said, no, what are you doing? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Bam Bam gets back in the ring. <laughs> Uh, Miss Hancock is out there with a uh, notepad. Yes, and legs. There's a sign in the crowd that says Kevin Nash's chat room rules. What is Kevin Nash's chat room? <laughs> Do you remember that one picture that came out with him with all the old ladies? It was like a book club. Yes. That's it. That's the chat room. <laughs> Kevin Nash's chat room. <laughs> What a great picture. He's for, he's for the matures. <laughs> Kevin <I'm>, Nash for <laughs> the matures. This is for the gilfs. Uh, Bam Bam tries to use a chair. The ref takes it. Then the cat hits a kick and pins Bam Bam for a three. Do you know what he hit him with? No. What did he say? The feliner. Is that what they called it? Yes. The <laughs> feliner, yeah. The, feline. the Which standing is, side dude, kick. Which, you forgot there's the feliner mentioned. on the show. There's the flatliner. There's the Steiner recliner. <laughs> feliner. <laughs> yeah, You're forgetting, feline. James. He had the loaded shoe on when he did the kick. Did he? The was loaded it loaded? Foot. Yeah, the red loaded foot. Yeah, he used it. I didn't know. Oh, that's awesome. Hit that kick, the loaded foot, and then he the hit feet it. Liner the feliner was loaded? It was loaded. They took it <laughs> off, Fuck. and then he won that. Yeah. <laughs> that's sick. When the ref took this chair, by the way, it was like the most confused I've ever seen a referee in his life. He's like, what? 
are you doing? Now, what is this? Get this. Now, what I'm going to take this? this, and I'm going to take this over here. And now, you what, sit on this? where are we going to put this at? Right. Where does Why is this, this even go? out here? Who's sitting here? Yeah, who's who's sitting this? out here? <laughs> Miss Hancock? <laughs> it's an NPC that doesn't know what's going on. Exactly. And then the cat dances. And then, yeah, he dances, and then he gets killed. And then Bam Bam does a little dance. <laughs> Bam Bam's like, what the fuck? So oh, <laughs> shit, that's pretty sweet. He's like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. I just made $100,000. Yeah. Former ECW awesome. champion. <laughs> main event in WrestleMania. Yeah, so anyways, have fun with your hardcore matches in the first match. <laughs> Uh, Billy Kidman and Tori Wilson show up in a Buick. D- DDP is looking for David Arquette. He slams a freezer door wide open and ends up finding Stone Cold with Scott Hall. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong words, monkey. <laughs> Alternate dimension. <laughs> uh, Jack Jarrett and Eric Bischoff are backstage uh, still messing around with David Arquette 1900 my world <laughs> <laughs> they're just coming up with different stuff they've got this guy back here for an hour they just keep going 1800 and uh, you suck <laughs> 1-800 Cox Cox <laughs> David Arquette's just like ah this is fucking why did I sign up should have gone to the WEF so we have Sean Stasiak versus God. Chris Canyon or as he's known at this point Champagne Canyon why because he's the fucking man, I don't know. <laughs> what is champagne? What is yeah, it? I don't. Yeah, I really don't know. No. <laughs> I really no. He went by Champagne Joe. Like he was just Champagne at one point. I don't he went by he Champagne was, Joe. <laughs> champagne Joe. <laughs> just Champagne. <laughs> he was just Champagne. That was his name. Just Champagne. champagne. Was champagne like P A. Like yeah. Because that's yeah. what is it? I'm not. Oh, sure. okay. I still just, don't understand. He just likes and, that name. Oh, and Sean Stasiak is the perfect one as well. Yeah, he came out to fucking Mr. Perfect's music, <laughs> and he hit the the perfect plat. Is that what it was called? I think it was called the perfect plant. The perfect plant. Oh, I thought it was plat. The move is uh gourd buster, but it's F5 like gourd buster. Yeah. Um, Sean Stasiak comes out. Yes, he's using Mr. Perfect's music. Yes, he's the perfect one. Uh, he debuted his new movie, Beat, uh, Kurt Hennig on Nitro, I think yes. last week, right? So Hennig comes out with brass knuckles and goes on commentary for this match. So we get to <laughs> Canyon and Stasiak started. Stasiak just dumps Canyon like a sack of rocks. Literally Sean just Stasiak hits in, F- invents you. the attitude adjustment. F <laughs> 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 used the shit out of him. That's awesome. And Mr. Perfect the whole time is on commentary holding the brass knucks, showing the brass knucks to the camera and saying, you know, I'm not going to use these brass knucks right here. I don't even know my hands. I'm not going to use these. <laughs> not using these. These two dudes actually have a pretty fun match, Canyon and Stasiak. I thought this was sure. pretty cool. It's not long enough to get anything going though yeah no, well i mean that's how they didn't run commercial breaks during a lot of these matches so like yeah they only ran during back then they only ran them during like between segments so that was pretty right. cool i like that yeah. a lot actually sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. um i was noticing that as we got to the main event for like i think it was like bo- the booker match and i was like whoa they haven't run like a like awesome sat in a headlock and they didn't run a commercial break I'm like this is <laughs> yeah <crazy." laughs> maybe they were used to it that's why they did it these two dudes have a pretty fun match it wasn't very long or anything but no it was making me as I'm watching this, realize, man, like guys like this just fell by the wayside a year later. Like they were just, oh God, that was, they don't exist. That's insane to me that like a whole roster of dudes just ceased to exist. A whole generation of people are gone forever. So Stasiak hits a pretty nice cross body and Hennig goes, whoa, that was pretty nice. And then Stasiak (laughs) mocks him and he goes, what do you think I was nice or something? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that's it I'm gonna come up and not use these brass knucks I swear to god knucks, by the way not fucking yeah. Hennig then comes to the ring hits him with the knucks <laughs> they did, did not use these things. and then Kenya hits the flatliner and ends up winning the match so Mike Awesome <laughs> comes to the ring is very confusing to me <laughs> dude I thought this was all the next segments where I was very confused this one I was pretty on board with so Mike <laughs> Awesome comes to the ring because uh, he wants to fight Canyon, and Hennig of course fights with Stasiak uh, Shivani then with the Dixie Cup voice like an AEW you know what I'm talking about? Here. I wrote that yeah. down. He's got the hey, we're going to ain't awesome through the canyon crowd. <laughs> like, fuck, this sucks. It man. happens again later in the show, but I think it's because of the dub music that it sounds like that. But there was no reason There's for no it to mu- sound like that here, unless there was no, music I feel playing. Like that they they, they just out. did voiceovers, I think, because it was Thunder and it wasn't live because they taped Dude, it after Nitro. Awesome also dumps Canyon on his head with a German suplex. Oh, yeah, that was that was, that was was the spot where he talked about the Dixie Cup thing. He was, yeah. don't, don't run over time. And then, the, then there's an ECW chant. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> so if ECW doesn't want Mike Awesome back. <laughs> not they wouldn't really pay him, actually. Yeah, they're yeah. not really. <laughs> uh, so Mike Awesome then goes to the outside, hits an awesome bomb on Canyon through the announce table that crushed this table of smithereens. This looked cool as fuck, and I don't really remember many WCW announce table spots. I don't either. I Mike Awesome was dope. like the only guy that I swear he watched another one. Awesome did it, didn't he? 
You bring another Maybe. Well, floor? I remember the, 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 bus. The, the Muda and the bus. Yeah. Yeah, that was dope. Yeah. Yeah, so he breaks this announce table. The way that the table broke, the reaction to it, this was all just super dope. It made me yeah. realize how sterilized the spots become. Back then, Awesome himself was just like, I'm throwing you, and you're going to fucking take it. I mean, that's just yeah. every, everything this he ever did. This table broke so... Like, the fr the whole front frame of it stood sturdy, but everything past that <laughs> was broke. It was just a wooden table they put together yeah. and slapped the logo on. And, like, yeah. that's awesome. And the way he cracked yeah. it wide open was so and dope. that's well, cause awesome. Now, <laughs> now that's awesome. Because now you can tell, like, Thumbs the WWE tables... <laughs> <laughs> he looked at the camera. He did the awesome bomb. Looked at the camera. Now that's, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. What Tony? Right after he does, I was saying that. Well, you can tell the WWE tables are meant. They like build them so you can break them and put them back together. Yeah, you breathe on them. Oh, wrong. the new they ones fall. suck. <laughs> the new yeah, ones suck. Yeah, they like fold on the side so they can just put them back up later. Yeah, yeah. this was one of the coolest like ways I've seen a table break. And out yeah, stable was in a sweet. while. And then also gets in the ring and attacks Mr. Perfect. DDP comes well, out. Uh, did you see Why? this off camera? Off camera, Mr. Perfect does a perfect plex and he's like holding on to it. But Wait, no really? One sees what's happening. Oh, I didn't yeah, see did that. You, it was, like you hear the noise of the perfect plex, but you don't know what's going on. And then it cuts back to the ring and he's like holding him like the pinning perfect plex <laughs> position. One. And then, two. <laughs> and then Sean Stasiak breaks it up or whatever. And then that's how that goes. Shit on the perfect plan. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah perfect. I agree. So Mike Awesome and no, that's awesome. Mike Awesome <laughs> and Sean Stasiak stare each other down in the ring for a minute, and then they get together like they're tag teaming. And then DDP's started, coming out. Yeah, DDP's coming out because they were like, "Oh man, we got to deal." They're with gonna this team team. up. Yeah, I, I was like, "Damn, that's a pretty cool team." Mike Awesome and Sean Stasiak, like that's pretty sweet, dude. They could be like awesomely perfect or something, you know? Ah, I think that'd be dope. Yeah, I'd probably call yeah. them like something not that, but like I like them. <laughs> no, that's the, that's one hundred percent what WWE would have called them. WWE absolutely. <laughs> yeah, honestly, you're right. They would have been. <laughs> yeah, they had the perfect event. Remember that team? That's oh, true. Man. Yeah. So DDP hits the ring. It looked like they were gonna work together, but Awesome just throws Stasiak <laughs> into DDP. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> He just pushes him right into it and diamond cutters him. All right, sweet. Uh, then DDP goes outside to check on Canyon, and he goes, you want to beat up my friend? Fine, I'll do your fucking match. So we Thanks. have our main event scheduled. Now we get to... <laughs> I don't this. even know if this is real, and you guys are going to have to verify for me if this happens okay. or not. This I will. So Billy Kidman comes out. He comes to the <laughs> well, ring with hold Tori. On, don't don't ignore what he did just before this. Yeah, you're, he's... you're missing out what he did before this. <laughs> Billy Kidman, this solidified Billy Kidman. I mean, if you didn't already know that he was a cool, badass, rebellious kid. Oh <laughs> he, he's walking through the back. He's, well, he's the kid man. He's a kid man. He's like a child, child dude. <laughs> <laughs> he is a dude brother. <laughs> Billy child dude. <laughs> this is Jack William, dude brother. <laughs> William... <laughs> That's what what happens after this. Uh, so uh, I'm just jumping ahead. Horace Hogan gets involved. Horace Hogan's name should have been Jack Dude Brother. <laughs> Brother Dude Jack. That would have been fuck? awesome. This segment. So Billy Kidman William is backstage. There. He's coming out with Tori. He slides down a railing. He is so cool. No wonder no, why Tori missing. fucks he's, this guy. He's got Hulk Hogan's yellow shirt on. He's got too. the Hulkster shirt on. Willie Kidman. As he slides down the rail like a fool. Kid Billy man. Kidman comes out. He has pyro William that he child. ignores. <laughs> why does he ignore his pyro? Because he's, uh, he's a man. That's what I'm <laughs> Not yet, <I'm> man. <laughs> He's an adult, yeah, a child. So, <laughs> William, so, man, adult. <laughs> Vincent, adult man, comes to the ring. He's got Tori and, um, and a whole. God bless Tori Wilson. They show, they show ringside. They're like, look, Mark Marrow and this guy Gabriel Ghoul is here ringside. Check these guys out. Gabriel Ghoul? Ray Rinaldi. Ray Rinaldi. Who is it? Uh, Gabriel Ghoul. Ray Rinaldi. <laughs> <laughs> Ray Romano? His name was Gabba Ghoul. <laughs> oh, okay, that's so, awesome. Kidman. I like I like that Mark Merrow, by the way. He's this is after his WBF run where he was a tough, badass boxer guy. He said, yeah. I'm gonna be Johnny B Bad again. <laughs> yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> I'm gonna look like this. He's gonna be Johnny B Bad as a badass fighter. Because right. <laughs> yeah. the next segment is even fucked Dude, up. <laughs> this one. <That> is, <laughs> I don't know. This actually might be the most fucked up segment I've ever seen in my life. So yeah. Kidman talks about Hogan burying him. He's like, I can't draw shit. The Hulkster just buried not, me. I don't even see him here. He's not, so He's not talking about Hogan. He's talking about Terry. Terry, well, brother. He, 
Yeah, on, uh, they recapped on Nitro. Kidman did a splash to Hogan through a table and hit him with the leg drop. Terry. <laughs> Terry. <laughs> to, to Terry. So Terry. Billy makes Billy makes an open challenge to anyone William. backstage <laughs> with the last name Hogan. Is there anyone backstage with the last name Hogan? <laughs> 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 so Gary comes and here out. comes Linda Hogan. <laughs> uh, Tori's feeling saucy, as Kidman says. Uh, she wants to give the kiss of death to somebody. So, yeah. well, she, I'll, she, I'll she's, this guy. <laughs> Kidman said, I open issue challenge anyone who thinks they can swat this flea. What? Yeah. <laughs> and then Tori says, heroin. <laughs> 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 I used to be a junkie. Does anyone want to invite me? <laughs> Tori, Tori says she can't wait to make, I mean, see, you sweat, Billy. Yeah, I'm saying to you right now. <laughs> Billy was already sweating. God, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then Billy came in to entice somebody to come out. He says, all right, well, whoever's back there, draw straws or throw up your potatoes. <laughs> As I in the crowd, it zooms in. It says, shut up and wrestle. <laughs> <laughs> True. And then Hogan's music hits. Dan, 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 dan. <laughs> got yeah, the red, dumped. white, and blue. <laughs> oh my god, I have never fucking just like belly laughed as hard as this. So when this, you saw this fucking scum, Steve Austin. <laughs> 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 oh, freeze oh, dry. I'm fucking dying at this point. Horace Hogan, Horace Hogan comes out <laughs> with, a, with, with a knee brace on, by the way. Horace Hogan, brace, gold chain, <laughs> <laughs> knee brace, white vest, very bald. Jersey, bald and shorts. He had shorts. <laughs> Was he is the Horace nephew of Hulk Hogan, Hogan, but he really red likes Sean Stone Texas, Cold. Right? Yeah, it's Red Hot Sean Texas. Red Hot Sean Texas versus <laughs> Billy Manchild. <laughs> William Manboy. <laughs> it zooms into a side of the crowd the second Scuff Steve Austin comes out. And it said, this match equals piss break. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Horace Hogan is more... Goldberg than Goldberg was. <laughs> I was fucking dying. I was just this George knee brace chain bald head goatee. Yo, what the and fuck? vest and vest and this vest. Just, too, yeah. just fuck. It's unbelievable. Up beyond belief. They are on commentary. They're putting him over like he's the next coming of Hulk Hogan. Even yeah, though he's Billy Bobby Kidman the brain. sells for this dude. Bobby the Brain Heenan buries him on commentary. He calls Good. him a leech. <laughs> He calls him a leech. <laughs> yeah, he does. He's yeah, like they, he leeched off Hulk Hogan. Yeah, I mean, Kidman gives him everything. Oh my God. Horace Hogan is doing power bombs. No oh my power God. bombs Billy Kidman. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, this is chicken shit. There's a sign in the crowd. I don't I don't know. Maybe, James, maybe you can explain this one. <laughs> There's a sign in the crowd that says, she gonna get it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what does this mean? <laughs> You know you're a redneck if you are from the <laughs> South and act as such. Better salad. <laughs> Get her done. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, Bischoff eventually comes out here looking like a bowl of fucking potatoes. <laughs> oh, there's another, there's another sign of the crowd that's just janitor. Do you guys see that? <laughs> that's awesome. So Horace grabs a chair and then hits Billy Kidman with it. And the referee says, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm, okay. I'm very confused. I'm like, okay, I didn't know this was no DQ. That's fine there. Horace uh, looks under the ring. Tony asks what he's looking for. And then Bobby Heenan says he's looking for Hogan and laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> he gets a table, sets up a table. He gets on the apron. Tori also gets on the apron and grabs Horace Hogan's cock and balls. From behind. Uh, full fucking grab. From behind. Grab this Not a reach around. Reach, and- reach through. <laughs> yeah. Holds on to them. Bischoff has a chair. He karate kicks the referee. <laughs> uh, and then he hits Horace Hogan in the head with the chair. Then Billy Kidman hits the Bull Dudley dog off the apron through the table. One, two, three on the floor. On the floor to the outside. <laughs> in also, a singles match. <laughs> also, falls count anywhere? Question mark. Also, Eric Bischoff does the fast count. So that's also the ref, he's yeah, not the ref, wearing he's, a ref shirt. The ref, he's looking like dog shit. Look, one, two, three, Eric Bischoff pins. Billy Kidman wins on the outside through a table. I guess Horace lost. Is that how that plays Is this out? what pushing know. Billy Kidman meant? Is this what this was? He just beat two Hogans. Who the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Tori grabbed this dude's cock from behind. I just heard him go, what? 
<laughs> you grab my Johnson. You grab my cock. What? <laughs> I can't believe they never tried. I he can't believe not even up. once they didn't try to make this guy Steve Austin. I can't Dude, believe that. His whole thing should have been Hulk Hogan trying to like breaking him into the business as you know a Hogan, but this guy really wants to be Stone Cold. Stone Cold. <laughs> All right, go brother, school. Now you're gonna put on this red and yellow shirt. What? what? <laughs> How about I put on a knee brace? Oh, you're, Horse Hogan, I go do that. Horse Hogan does not have a knee injury. <laughs> oh, Horse Hogan got a knee injury. <laughs> <laughs> for the war. <laughs> yeah, there's, I guess on commentary, I don't know if it's this match or later, they try to explain that it's like ref's discretion and he lets it go, so that's why this is whatever. Whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I, I don't, don't care. Understand. I don't think they, even Tony Giovanni doesn't know what's going on. He's like, yeah, no. all right, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so then we have Tank Abbott come to the ring. Oh, no, Tank Abbott. <laughs> why did they put this man out here with a mic and swim trunks? <laughs> <laughs> he says, if you go to Chad's name, Chad and Wright, Goldberg. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Let me try that. Let me try One that. more time. One more. Ghostberg. <laughs> That's right. He is blinking so hard. He's he, like. He then says, where's his front teeth? <laughs> this is the first time he's ever seen Tank Abbott. Is this sucks. Uh, Tank Abbott looks ringside for someone to beat up. And oh my God, Mark Marrow and Gabriel Gould are ringside. <laughs> wow. So Gabriel Gould pushes Abbott and gets in the ring first. <laughs> <laughs> they made Tank Abbott look like a pussy here. They pussy. Gabriel Gould pushed out Tank Abbott. <laughs> and then they got in the yeah, ring with did. Mark Marrow and then his they start name fighting. Is not Gabriel Gould. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name, Tony? Oh, let me find it. Uh, Rudy? Gabriel Who? Gould. Yeah, <laughs> I know what his name was. I knew it's, I had it right. No. <laughs> so then we have Tank Abbott versus Mark Mero and Gabriel Gould in the Rinaldi. ring. Two on one. It's, 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 Ray, it's, it's Ray, Ray Rinaldi. Ray Rinaldi. Right. Ray Rinaldi. Gabriel Gould, Ronald Dino, call him what you want. <laughs> He's Ronald in the ring with Tank Abbott. <laughs> WCW security breaks it up and the crowd boos this segment out of they the They hated this. Place. They were so well, Mark Mero and him start like standing, like sparring with each other and then they start like punching each other and then they break it up oh and the crowd God. hates everything. And this Horace sucks. Hogan, man. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just thinking about this dude. <laughs> He's out. I mean, like, yeah. Oh, wow. All right. Um, that was that was their idea of pushing the new blood. That there, was the new. There was blood. a lot of great new blood, and then there was a lot of not so great new blood. Did you like the fun b signs? <laughs> No. F U N B. No. I remember when Hogan Foodies. was trying to tell everybody what that stands for one time. Yeah. On Nitro, he goes, one more F U N B. <laughs> he goes, the N B stands for New Blood. You can figure out the rest. <laughs> no, I can't. Blood. Keep it going. <laughs> so Sting shows up to the arena. He's still covered in blood from Nitro. Three days ago, two or three days ago. He is covered in blood. This blood is still wet. <laughs> what? I the don't fuck? know how this is happening. His what hair is, is like all matted down. It is not a good. He would have looked far. badass if he slicked his hair back, but he didn't. <laughs> Stink is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> DDP finds RK or uh, Arquette backstage in an uh, arcade. In an arcade. Some fun. They had an anarchy arcade. <laughs> Anarchy okay. <laughs> so they find our cat backstage and like, oh thank God. So they need him for the main event or we're fucked. The wall versus Sting and a tables match is next. Why? I literally wrote that. How, <laughs> I don't how did know. Sting get here? Did he fly? How like did they this? schedule him for a match? Let alone. I mean, a this was match. before 9 11 so I guess you could walk through the airport however the fuck you yeah, want. Yeah, I guess this bloody <laughs> carry looking blood. dude. <laughs> yeah. Just soaked in blood in his gear, in free, face paint. Free 9 11 <laughs> airports just hit different, man. It was yeah, just, I guess so. <laughs> just fucked. Uh, <laughs> if I saw a bloody sting in the airport, I would flip shit. What the hell? Yeah, no, I got a picture. Day, that was an everyday occurrence. Like 2000, <laughs> like, that just happened. He's gigging. The bloody <laughs> ceiling <laughs> walking around. <laughs> uh, so they get this match started. They recap the bloodbath as well. Yeah, for the second or third time tonight. They're yeah. like, if you want to know why Sting looks like this, here you go again. They're like, this is really cool. Look at this. So Sting goes for a sunset flip power oh my bomb God. Oh. over <laughs> the ropes. From the ring to the floor. The wall is standing on the apron. He tries to flip over the wall and hit a sunset flip through the table on the outside. But I guess Sting forgot. That he's soaked. He's fucking bloody. <laughs> soaked in wet blood. And slippery as shit. He's very slippery. He goes slippery. to grab the wall, slips, <laughs> and just 
eats shit S- on the ground. Bashes his head on the apron. <laughs> just fuck. he still slaps his hands on the ground when he hits the guy. Like, That's pretty good bump there. I think someone just got shot out of side of my house. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? I think I did. I heard like a. <laughs> 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 All right. Anyway, Sting. Was that, sting, falling? Falling? Oh, that was sting falling? <laughs> he and then he gets back up and he. Eventually, they find the way to the power bomb and he power bombs the wall through the table and the wall no sells it. <laughs> Dude, he, so he, yeah, what the fuck? He fumbles <laughs> around for a minute. He goes, uh, maybe I'll hit this bomb. Uh, maybe I just need a second. All right, power bomb through the table. <laughs> and then the wall just gets up, and the commentator's like, oh, the wall is fine. He no sells this fucking table. And like, one, this match went on for like le- a minute, maybe. I don't even know how long the match was. It was no, super it was, short. Yeah. This is also probably the lo- like the best that Sting's face paint has ever held up. <laughs> he has oh, full face genuinely. paint underneath the blood. <laughs> Looks great. <laughs> the Wolfpack Sting should look like this. Uh, Vampiro eventually gets jumps Sting with the wall. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Yeah, <laughs> Sting just... and beats their ass. <laughs> <laughs> then yeah, it's a Stinger's splash on Vampiro and Sting. Sting wins. Sting wins, and then he wins in the heat. <laughs> Sting wins. He's the franchise. Vance Russo, Buff Bagwell, and the franchise are walking backstage, and I guess they're thinking maybe no one will hear what they're actually saying, so they just walk by and go, "Hey, Baba Booey, new blood, baby, baby, Baba Booey, new blood." <laughs> All right. So then it shows Sting walking outside the arena after the his emergency schedule. Exit. His schedule match is over. It's time to go home. I'm bloody. I'd like to take a shower. This man's insane. Look at him. Look how insane this man is walking <laughs> outside the arena. He walks through the emergency exit and just walks. He's going home. He's, he wants Why? to go home. I want to go home. He lives in, like, Florida. This in show hell. is in <laughs> New Jersey, ain't it? Or New York? <laughs> yeah, he's got to catch the Greyhound. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know the Greyhound lets people that are bloody on the oh, bus. God. I know you went, that's fact. how you leave the yeah, Greyhound. You get yeah. off the Greyhound. You look like that. Oh, baby. So we get the I team don't want to talk about this. Can yeah. we skip this one? Can we, we skip this one? God, this is cr- fucked. All right, so Team Russo has a promo, <laughs> dude. Russo wearing a watch and also wearing a necklace with a watch on it. <laughs> you got <a> necklace, <laughs> Russo necklace. What, what is this? So there's a sign that says "Move over, Bruce Wayne." Vince Russo is the new Batman. <laughs> what? Were oh, there actual people that were fans of Vince Russo back then? Yes. Yes. Because he was like heel. as an he was a heel on TV. Character. Yeah, there was a heel on TV. Okay, so Russo starts off. He goes, first off, this local town we are in sucks. Also, a sign that said, "I thought these were SmackDown tickets." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too, brother. So <laughs> I took offense to Vince Russo here though, because he says, "Upstate Rochester is not a part of New York. This dump might as well be Iowa." And I said, "What the oh, fuck? That's oh, true, bro." Damn. Yeah. Fuck Big Iowa, heat. right, boys? Yeah. yeah. No way. We like I Iowa. Think, oh yeah. True. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> Let me try, that, me try that one more time. <laughs> I like Iowa. <laughs> right, Tony? Yes. We yeah. Iowa, yes. All right. Yes. Bagwell says, speaking of sucking, I, the total baggage sucks. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Bagwell's glasses fall off. He goes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh franchise says rick flair you old bitch <laughs> he says, just does the steiner promo he says this isn't yeah, a promo this is much. a shoot oh no, this is my brother. first oh brother of the night yeah, yeah. <laughs> no way stuff. it was your first okay, <laughs> there's well, no way <laughs> actually everything else made me laugh it was funny this Fair was enough. this was a straight oh brother that's what he, I mean, that was Shane Douglas' whole thing. He was a shooter. I'm a shooter. I always love seeing Luger come out in regular t-shirts. They don't fit He looks fit like him. a walking tank. Yeah. No one, there's insane. no shirt size that, like, it's, everything looks too big, or if he, if he wore smaller, though, it would rip. He has to get it tailored. Tailored. Yeah. Do you remember the time Luger got in a fight with a t-shirt when his t-shirts are too tight? Too <laughs> <big>? <laughs> yeah. Super bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's he call what it is? What Let me doing? try that one more time. <laughs> Your teacher are too tight, too, Billy. <laughs> That's so an odd time. Are they the Millionaires Club or are they Team Package? They're both. <laughs> they are the so Team Package of the Millionaires Team package Club. Package is a subset of the Millionaires oh, Club. Oh yes. Okay. So they come out. Flair, Luger, and Elizabeth. Flair's got a microphone. He does not talk. Uh, because he keeps looking back and getting distracted by Lex Luger on the draw. <laughs> Look at this dude. <laughs> Look at this fucking guy. Four percent body fat. And then eventually, sorry, so he said, "You made a step mistake tonight, Russo. You let me talk. Woo! <laughs> Ooh, I'm going for twenty minutes. Yeah, oh my god. Oh Russo, my god, dude. Russo said, 
You know, I anticipated this. Bro, you booked this. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, you don't say. He said, Flair says, 1985 Sting's been going, woo! And the fans have been going, woo! And he starts losing his mind. He points at Luger, he says, oh, Package has been going, yeah! And he yeah. flexes. And they've been yeah. going, yeah! And I've been going, woo, yeah! <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Woo, it's yeah, <laughs> since 85. <laughs> Rick Flair. Ooh, yeah, Total ooh, Package yeah. since 85. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. He rips he says, his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> he rips his own shirt, flexing. He That's says, fucking Russo, awesome. you're a mark. <laughs> True. He just won't stop yelling. He says, Douglas, the last time I looked, there was only one franchise in WCW, and that's Sting. And franchise says, kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have a mic or anything. You can just hear him no. yelling that loud. Legit he yells- heat with Ric Flair. Legit yeah. heat with Ric Flair. Flair starts mentioning, he says, you, you can't be shit until you've done what you've done. I've went 60 minutes. <laughs> I wrestled Bruiser Brody. And now, Buddha God. <laughs> That's Japan. <laughs> That's Japan. <laughs> he said, I've pissed away more money on bar tabs than all three of you will ever make. And Tony Schiavone says, that's a shoot right there. No, that's a shoot. <laughs> no, that's a shoot, bro. Uh, and then Flair says, and I'll do it again. Yeah. <laughs> Drinks are on the house. Yeah. Courtesy of the date to that boy. And then he starts grabbing his cock. <laughs> <laughs> Grab his dick and twist it. <laughs> you won't be done until you suck. Right? <laughs> He starts, yeah. grabbing, starts Woo, jerking yeah. himself off. <laughs> that is awesome. Yo, Ric Flair is the man. <laughs> I love this dude. He says, the only way Douglas gets to touch greatness is if you promise me that if I win, lose, or die. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? My man. <laughs> if you interfere, Russo, then I get five minutes with you at Slambury in this match where the rules are you can win, lose, or or die. Die. <laughs> Which, That's every DPW match, by the way. Yeah, right, we won't have either. draw. Pinfall submission. Or die. <laughs> murder. Murder. <laughs> Russo says, I guess this is part of the show where I'm supposed to be the chicken shit heel, huh? This is oh brother moment, too. You booked this. And yes. Uh, oh brother. Uh, Russo agrees to the stipulation. He says, I'm not Wahoo. I'm not Dusty. I'm Vince Russo, and it is my time. And he says, uh, you know why I will own you, slick dick? <laughs> and Shane big Douglas pop. is very pop, happy about that. Because yeah. right, I got the big apples, baby. <laughs> yeah, All right. wow. And then Luger cut a promo. I don't remember anything he said. <laughs> Luger said, Bagwell, are you the same punk that got a rollaway bed in our room to save funds on the road? Yes, we stand a financially responsible king. I do like <laughs> Buff Bagwell. Russo says, WCW owns Liz's contract, not the total package. So Liz is technically my property and technically is the best kind of right. How's that work? That's not how that works. I, no. You think he why wrote? couldn't he do that to anybody? Why didn't he do that to Flair? Why didn't he just kidnap <laughs> Flair? Technically, I own Rick Flair. He could Flair. have done it to literally anybody on the WCW roster. He legitimately could have said, Rick. Flair, uh, in this win, lose, or die match, you're dying, you're dying <laughs> because I own you. <laughs> There was a good line before this that uh, Russo sped. I said, "Oh, was it about he the, said some, the, the Lex Express crash. line?" Is that yes? He said, "I'm yeah. glad you survived the fatal car crash called the Lex Express." And I thought that was the Nightmare Express. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the, the QT cubicle. WCW security shows up to take Liz, and then bro, what the fuck? So and they, Flair yeah. and TP beat up the security, stormed the TP. ring. <laughs> <laughs> Russo then took Liz up the ramp in his arms. And steals her. Barely, almost, barely almost, could carry her. Almost kills her. Dumped her on her fucking head. I was like, <laughs> what? That's the scariest thing no I've ever seen. No upper body strength on this guy. Not even a little bit. What's this dude? Oh, the marks are in the damn ring, bro. <laughs> so yeah, he, he Fluger and Flair are in the ring trying to deal with security and Bagwell... Uh, and franchise and Russo steals Liz and then Russo turns around and starts flexing which Tony told me is him doing the torture rack uh, pose. He does a torture rack die, you know. Like well, I don't think that's rack. what that was. Let, that was what I'm going to let that's you try that one more time. <laughs> Are you sure that was the torture rack pose? That was him doing the torture rack die. I mean, it I looked like he it. was just I don't like. I thought he was just flexing. Yeah, I don't know. He didn't do the chicken dance. So no, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, so during the break, Liz gets thrown in a car and they take off. So apparently security drag Liz into a car. Russo jumps in the car and drives off. This I, is supremely that's illegal. That's how that works. That's well, so he, illegal. He owns her legally through <laughs> legal matters. <laughs> well, if, if she signed her life away in this matter, then I guess that's her fucking Dude, this fault. is like the day of reckoning storyline right here. That's every wrestling <laughs> game storyline. Yeah, pretty much. Where you own a woman. <laughs> so David Arquette all beat up backstage and DDP's like, bro, 
don't do the match. You really don't have to. It Listen to like, you, little whatever. monkey. You gotta check out this doctor. All right, monkey, monkey man. boy. Monkey man. Arquette refuses treatment from the doctor because he's fucking MDK all day. That's fucking <laughs> <Hell> true. <yeah. laughs> we learned that twenty years later. <laughs> we have Tammy versus Paisley. Charmel. Yeah. So Chris Candido's out here with Tammy. This is hard knocks, Chris Candido. Chris Candido's got a fat ass. It's like every time Candido comes out there. <laughs> I feel like they're always just like, man, this kid's had a hard life, man. It's yeah, like they every all know. time, yeah, they, they just know. know, like this dude's they been through some know. shit, yeah. man. Yeah. Tammy does the total package strip gimmick. Mike Tanay very excited to see what's underneath the robe. Show us, Tammy. Let me see. <laughs> Let Tanay see. What is this voice she's putting on, by the way? What is his accent? Paisley is with the artist. Paisley, of course, is Charmel, who is Booker's wife. This is the artist formerly known as Prince Ayakea. This is actually Paisley's debut match in WCW. It's probably is Tammy's as well. <laughs> it damn well seem like it. So Dude, I'm going to give Tammy, you the play-by-play play here. Tammy is wearing an outfit that I it is it defies the laws of gravity that she was able to be contained within this outfit. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Yeah, it was <laughs> fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> so Tammy chokes Paisley. Candido chokes Paisley. She doesn't sell any of this. Paisley grabs Tammy's vagina. Uppercuts her pussy. Tammy hits the whippersnapper. Yes. Tammy then does a dive to the outside on <laughs> all of the men, including Candido. And the referee. <laughs> Candido no sells it, gets into the ring, and then Paisley low blows Candido. <laughs> Paisley then hits a handspring back elbow yes. Kelly, in Kelly. the corner. So bad that the she, crowd audibly <laughs> boos her. You can hear them getting hyped up for the backflip parts in the cartwheel, and then she goes for the elbow and just hesitates, and they turn on it. The artist knocks Tammy off the top rope. She hits her vagina on the top rope. She goes, ah! <laughs> then no sells it, gets down to hit a Northern Lights suplex, which Paisley reverses into what I assume is a DDT. Yes. And wins the match. Yes, there was a lot of genital abuse in this match. This has got to be the this, worst match I've this, ever seen. I wrote at the end of my notes, this may be an all-time horrible match. I don't know if I've ever seen anything as bad as this ever, which I've seen a lot of wrestling. Which I feel like Charmel is historically in a lot of bad matches. What the fuck? She had this match. How do you think this compares to the uh, Jenna Maraska TNA match with Charmel? Oh my god! I <laughs> forgot about that completely! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is on par. How? This is on par. <laughs> what? I don't this know, This match this was unbelievably horrible. fucked. This was... There was not... Pussy, one, cock, and ball torture. Not one redeeming thing from this match. Well... Sonny looked cool. Not one pretty cool redeeming too. thing from this match. Chris Candino looked pretty jacked. Chris <laughs> Candino it attacks the artist afterwards. It's the best move of the whole match. He does a DDT and is the best thing I've seen in Yeah, it looked great. Yeah. And then and then Tammy mounts Paisley and throws Dark Order punches. <laughs> Just no. cherry on top of the worst <laughs> wrestling segment of all time. This is, yeah, this is, uh, this is worth, like, I mean, there's a lot of stuff on the show that, you know, if you watch our reviews, you go back and watch, that's fine. But this match has to be seen to be believed. James didn't miss anything either. That, it's he, genuinely. And it was not, like, not even uh, slightly sarcastic in any of the moves or uh, no. application of said moves. This is... <laughs> That is every, there was no, there was nothing. <laughs> that was a play by play of, I don't, I don't know what that was. It was, uh, I, I don't know. There was a sign in the crowd that said slap nuts university track and field. I'd like <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> we should make that a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking. That, Dude, that you, genuinely. You like, went right. Honestly, like I might have to go back and watch the TNA one now just to compare because this was Th that was this was rough. It was not. It, I guess the TNA one. It was just them, pretty much. If I remember, if I'm remembering correctly, I think correctly. you're right. I think this so. had four people at their worst. So like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. This one's tough. It was brutal. Yeah, it was rough. So we get a backstage interview. Booker says he's got to shut Steiner up. They feud for pretty much a year. 
I'm pretty this sure. This is still in the era where Booker T has lost his his no the letter T. T, his gear, and his yeah. music. <laughs> yeah. Booker and Steiner face at uh, Slamboree, I think. This is all they had. Yes. WCW had nothing else other than this. Major Guns came Tyleen up. Buck. Tyleen yes. Buck. Came One of up. the young bugs. <laughs> <laughs> this is the lost the fourth bug. bug. <laughs> Tylee comes up and asks Booker about Mike Awesome. Is she a robot? What is this gimmick? She's like whispering really in like. So I think she's into me. Oh, she wants to fuck. Oh, yeah. oh, right? Sweet. I mean, that's the, kind of what I got. What the I mean, yeah, yeah maybe. A, I feel I like. Mean, yeah, because I think this went on later in like a later Nitro we watched that she was like trying to hit on me and Gina. It's like Slick Johnson and the girls in TNA. Steiner is. Backstage with his, with his freaks. freaks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on. Sorry. Just before uh, she like she asked him about Mike Awesome. Booker says Mike Awesome is straight out of the independent circuit. What? <laughs> he says interview over. <laughs> Just so you guys what know. the fuck? <laughs> Dude, in his debut, they say he's and he's he's the ECW champion, and now it's he's an independent a, circuit. Independent piece of shit. Wow. <laughs> Booker ain't never heard of ECW. So the is yeah, of course he has. <laughs> <laughs> never heard of this shit. Steiner is backstage with his freaks. When I don't know, I, it might have been uh, Shakira that was sitting. I don't remember who it was that was sitting on the uh, chair. Yeah. She goes, "Look, Booker's on TV," and the star goes, "What?" <laughs> and he runs out of the room. Mid makeout session, <laughs> he's making out with Medasia, and Shakira's on the on the chair. He goes, "Booker's on TV." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love this dude, man. He's, He's awesome. out of his mind. DDP backstage still trying to convince David Arquette to not have this match. He said, "Look, you will have a zero percent on cage match if you have this match tonight." <laughs> Arquette says, "Fuck you, <laughs> I'm doing it." <laughs> so we have Booker versus Mike Awesome. Hell yeah! Steiner comes down with his freaks. Medeja holding the U.S. belt, which is dope as hell. Steiner's walking around ringside, yelling at the ring during his entrance. I'm gonna bring some excitement into your match. <laughs> And white then trash. He turns, I'm looking at white he, trash. He turns around. I don't know. Was he on the cameraman or a fan? Because he starts yelling, Both. I'm looking at white trash. <laughs> 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 Diner's on commentary and he says, uh, I don't want Hogan's spot. Hogan can have his spot. His ball spot. His liver to the ring spot. His liver spot. That was so good. <laughs> What do you think about that, Bobby? Bobby? Yeah, what do you think, Bobby? <laughs> he <laughs> he said it every time. Like that. What do you think, Bobby? <laughs> he wouldn't stop calling him Bobby. That's my man, Bobby. <laughs> so he also said on commentary that I have too much time admiring myself to like anybody. He ruled on commentary. The first thing he said when he sat down was, well, you know, everybody knows <laughs> everybody wants to Papa. That <laughs> 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 should be the world's champion. What do you think, Bobby? <laughs> <laughs> and then he did try to start shit between Mike today and Steiner. And, and today, today goes, today now like hold you. on. Yeah. And Hina says, well, you know, Tony never liked you. And then today said, well, I have heard something about that. <laughs> uh, Steiner then tries to get Heenan hooked up with some of his freaks. <laughs> yeah. You want to you want look at my freaks later, Tony? <laughs> Tony said, well, I mean, I do look at them. Because <laughs> uh, they're standing behind them at this at I have no clue here. what's happening in this match. I'm not even No, I don't either. I'm just trying to hear just Steiner. Paying attention to Steiner. At one point, there's like a close two count, and Steiner says, oh, that looked like a three. And then Shivani and Tanae say, oh, yeah, yeah, did. you know what, Scott, you're right. That did look like a three. And Bobby Heenan says, I think it looked like a four. <laughs> <laughs> You're counting, Bobby. <laughs> Mike Awesome is laying in a hold in the middle of the ring. The fans are so enthusiastic about this that they start raising the roof and crotch dropping Woo! in the crowd. <laughs> the Booker ends up going up for the Houston hangover. Steiner rushes the ring, hits him with the belt. Awesome. Just oh, fucking... Oh. Just this is the one of the roughest awesome bombs I've seen on WCW TV. Yeah. He should have just like almost buckle bombs him on the bottom. Yeah, it was rough. Shit. He throws him so hard into the floor, and Booker's head goes. Boing. Booker was almost <laughs> looking for help. He was like <laughs> trying to like grab out to the rope. Help! Awesome wins, by the way. Sorry. Yeah, he I, and Awesome's actually getting a pretty big push right now. Yeah, which, which is pretty. What cool. the fuck happened? Uh, I I guess once he dropped the ECW joint, they're like, ah, whatever. Steiner comes in, locks in the recliner on Booker, and then I. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck was I, this? I thought I was, I I thought I was having a stroke. <laughs> I, I thought a fan hit the ring at first. I'm like, okay, it's fake sting. It's Lash, not a fan. Lash Larue, Chavo Guerrero, mm -hmm. Hugh Morris, and Van Hammer. Boys, 
we just witnessed a debut of the Misfits in action. <laughs> we did. These, these Misfits from Night Show. These Misfits. I guess they all got shit on by Bischoff in his office the other week. Yeah, on Night Show, I guess. So these Misfits are here. And on commentary, they're like, what the fuck are they wearing? <laughs> Van Hammer. Hey, Van Hammer. <laughs> Van Hammer. Van Hammer. The hey, what you that, Booker Bobby? goes to Booker lost the Booker T name, so he goes GI Bro after this, doesn't he? This is around the time where he I, goes ima to I, bro. I imagine. I, for some reason, I, for, I thought he wasn't in the original incarnation of the Misfits action, but I guess he was. But yeah, he. I feel like this was we witnessed the debut, the genesis of on the, April twenty sixth, two thousand episode of Nitro. Uh, Larue Guerrero, Morris, and Van Hammer save Booker T in a match. Following the uh, so the next week. Uh, Lash LaRue, Van Hammer, and Grow make the save for Hugh Morris on Nitro, and Humorous. then uh, and then Bischoff fires Hugh Morris <laughs> and all of them, <laughs> and then they Bischoff. <laughs> Bischoff fired them all. And That's then... so sick. Why did that happen to like Retribution? Retribution comes in on WWE on Raw. They cause a ruckus. <laughs> yeah, you're all fired. Just get out of here. Well, yeah, it was the opposite. Retribution debuted, and they were like this outcast, non-signed group. Then they got signed and drafted, and then they kept them on the show. Oh, yeah. Would you like a job <laughs> starting now? Yeah. You're fired. <laughs> Shortly after, the released superstars reappeared in WCW under their new Misfits and Actions names. Despite the obvious fraud, they signed new contracts with their new names, allowing themselves to evade the Bischoff's firings. What? What? <laughs> So they got fired, but then they got brand new names so they could just have new They got fired, and way. Eric Bischoff re-signed them as these new people that he's never seen before. Captain General Huge Erection, <laughs> Lieutenant Loco, Corporal Cajun, and Major's Dash. <laughs> what the what fuck? What the fuck? Oh my god. Don't forget huh. about Major Guns and Sergeant Major Guns, AWOL. of course. Sergeant AWOL and GI Bro is also in there. Wow. So GI Bro is the leader of that group, by the way, until he leaves the group Not and then promotes Corporal corp, uh, Captain Rection to General Rection. Fuck. <laughs> 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 well, eventually they get the upper hand here. They chase away Mike Awesome and Scott Steiner, which sounds as stupid what? as you think it would. I was. They should have killed all of them. Yeah, I think they actually should have hit the ring and then Steiner should have took liberties with all of them. I think so, too. Been. I think Mike Awesome was begging to take liberties with these guys. <laughs> he would have threw Chavo into die the fourth tonight. row. Yeah. <laughs> Hugh Morris, get ready. <laughs> <laughs> so after that, we have a Bret Hart interview. This sucked. <laughs> I hated this. I hated this, too. I like this. I thought it was cool. I felt You're this a big Bret guy, though. Well, it just, I think I was, I was exhausted <laughs> at, by this point, and yeah. Bret Hart just doing normal guy interview with Scott Dude, Hudson this goes in on his forever. house. I think that's the issue. It just it goes also on felt forever. like it was forever, and it also looked like it was shot to make me think it was a dream, <laughs> because it was <laughs> looking real weird. <laughs> yeah, I thought, it was, I don't know, I thought it was, I mean, it's pretty much what I expect from Bret. It was just he's, he's never not done an interview like that, so like... And I also like how down to earth it was. I think they could have got like if they would have just got right to the Hogan stuff and like cut it from there to the end, it would have been fine. But fuck, just and Scott Hudson asked Brett if his house feels like a prison. I don't even know what he was talking about because <laughs> <laughs> Brett's been injured. Well, go home. Go, home. go go outside. <laughs> you don't gotta, he's not in, he's not under house arrest. <laughs> you can't do much when you're injured, man. <laughs> yeah, of course you, you can. can go anywhere. You can do anything. Go out. You got someone drive him around. Take him to the store. You go shopping, Brett. What? You know, the fuck get outside. Home. Sit on your porch. <laughs> well, Brett says, isn't it crazy how Hogan came back after I got injured? Which I thought was good. That was fun. Saying Hogan's a coward. Yeah. Uh, Brett says he could have beaten Hogan during Hulkamania, and he can beat him now. Which injury is this? It could have been the Goldberg kick. Could have been the Goldberg kick. Oh, really? Oh. Because he still did promos and stuff after he got kicked. Well, by I guess me think. Uh, I guess I didn't think it was Goldberg because yeah, the this Goldberg was like kick was Starcade ninety nine. Starcade ninety nine. Oh, huh. So that okay, kick happened in 99, so they still had him do promos and stuff, yeah. even though he was okay. not wrestling. Brett said, Andre passed the torch to Hogan. Hogan didn't pass the torch to me. He instead ran to WCW. So oh. I came to WCW to get what's owed to me. And I thought that was awesome. I thought that been was a cool, sick. This would have been a sweet, like if they would have actually been able to do anything with this, they would have been cool. Because he says his final quest in wrestling would be to put Hogan in the sharpshooter and make him tap out. Which I was like, oh, that's cool. But he never got to do it. Yeah. that is. I mean, it's pretty, honestly, his, the end of his career is pretty sad, honestly. It is. Mm -hmm. Supposedly he, so he continues to make appearances on TV cutting promos. 
On the May 3rd episode of Thunder, he made a run-in during a battle royal where he hit Hogan with a chair, which I guess was just before this episode, maybe? Or just after this episode? And then his final WCW appearance occurred on September 6, 2000 episode of Thunder, not even Nitro, in a promo where he confronted Goldberg on the injury he sustained nine months prior, and then WCW fired him. Yeah, wow. that's fucked. Jesus. <laughs> and then he yeah, announced yeah. his retirement. I thought it was, I mean, for what it was, for what it was, I thought it was cool. We get DDP and David Arquette versus Jeff Jarrett and Eric Bischoff for the main event. WCW title is on the line for a tag team match. <laughs> <laughs> on Thunder in the main on event. Thunder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Arquette is here, even though he said he wouldn't come out. He told, DDP said, don't come out here, bitch. Yeah, I will. <laughs> <laughs> There's a... Oh, Jared's making his entrance as a big South Park Jeff Jarrett. That's so sick. That. That's so excited that's so about awesome. that. That's so awesome. Yeah. Then they, they're like, whoa, what's going on, man? There's, There's no ref. referee out here. Yeah. What's going on? So oh then my. music oh. hits. Oh, my. Hey, yo, what kind of referee has music? And then all of a sudden, DDV goes, oh, my God. He looks at the stage, and I said the same thing. It was Kimberly Page. In ref gear. In ref gear. In, Tiny in referee ref top. gear. Yeah. Shorts. And her thong out. Heenan said she's wearing a slingshot. <laughs> How did DDP go for Sarah Taker <laughs> when he had this? Kimberly Page in at this specific moment in time might be the hottest woman alive. <laughs> <laughs> We're, all right, so our, so Trish and Stacy and Don Marie already in the upper echelon. Where does Kimberly Page fit? Oh my in? god, she, I think is she, she above just, Don Marie. She just dude, she just jettisoned up the list. You is she have Stacy for you? S tier, S tier. Yeah. No, I, I. They're pretty okay. close. They're pretty close. Like her here was <laughs> fucked, dude. Yeah. If you, I'm like not kidding. You gotta go look at this match to see how fucking it's sexy she is here. She's God just bless unbelievable. Her. Yeah, uh, they dude, should have gave her the belt here. DDP. They should have had her pin DDP for the belt. DDP man, that's my guy. That's my fucking <laughs> that's DDP. My man. <laughs> that's, that's my dog. He's cheating. He's cheating. <laughs> All right, so getting the match started. DDP goes for a pin. Uh, Can't really counts it for one, and then says. Ooh, I broke a nail. <laughs> Son of a bitch. And then Heenan says, oh, she got nine more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was good. DDP hits a sit-out bomb, and then Kimberly just takes forever to go for a pen. She was almost like, God damn it. Eric Bischoff comes down to the ring. Because they, they fought up on the stage, Arquette and Bischoff. They fought, and Arquette's gone, and Bischoff comes back down looking like mashed potatoes. Eric Bischoff comes in, does a bunch of karate moves. <laughs> this guy's just, it's a rib constantly. He's guy, fucked. Right? There's no way this is serious. It's karate this kicking DDP, rib. the world champion. It's and DDP's all, selling it. He's selling it like he got shot. It's crazy. A DDP chant takes over the arena, but I think it's fake. <laughs> Really? Yeah, maybe. I think it's fake. Yeah, I, I didn't see anybody change. <laughs> oh, really? They were, doing, uh, they were crotch chopping. Yeah, I, didn't see I think they were chanting Kimberly. Kimberly. <laughs> Me too. Kimberly. I was chanting from my house 20 they years were later. DP. <laughs> they were just saying DP at Kimberly. DP. <laughs> <laughs> so then DDP corners Kimberly and then I'll be goddamn... He kisses his wife on TV. He kissed, his own, he kissed his own wife on the lips. I couldn't believe this guy would do that. Fucking arrest this bastard. So Arquette's in the ring now. All right, he comes down. You know, it's that famous. You've seen that a lot where he comes he down like holding his yeah. ribs and he's like, ah, I'm hurt. It's like, so Arquette then spears Bischoff. A good spear. Yeah, it was. Bischoff like just threw himself. Di it was dope. Died, yeah. <laughs> uh, Jarrett then hits DDP with the belt. And then he goes for the pin. Arquette goes for the pin. Another referee comes out. The Jarrett pin is way closer to this referee, but this referee is starstruck by David Arquette that he slides all the way across the ring. Would you stop? <laughs> to count for Arquette. One, two, three. David Arquette is the world heavyweight champion. The crowd starts throwing shit into the ring. They do. David Arquette got the pin first, so I would. He did get the pin first. Won. I agree. And if you play video games, isn't that how it works? Do the ref will count that too? I mean, is I that? would the pin first. Yes. Yeah, I guess so. I guess you're right. I wow, you're right. I didn't even yeah. think about that, Tony. Look at you. DDP and David Arquette go through the crowd. DDP doing his best to find anybody that's happy about this. <laughs> DDP, DDP looks up and just starts laughing like, "Oh, this yeah, motherfucker true. just won the title." He's like, "All right." Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's well documented that Arquette really didn't want to do that, and he gave all of the money that he earned in WCW to Billman's family. So Tony Khan came to me and said, "In nine days, you're gonna win the AEW title." I would say, "Okay, 
<laughs> okay. Why the f- I would <laughs> fuck fuck everybody else. I yeah, would love to be a champion if I'm a wrestling fan. According to everybody, this moment right here is the single moment that killed the world title importance and also killed wrestling forever and ever. <laughs> and WWE sucks and wrestling is dead now. David Arquette killed the business forever. I think WCW was fucked regardless. I think it's Jamie Kellner's fault that, that stupid bitch. son of a bitch. <laughs> Jamie Kellner, you fuck. This episode was fucked. <laughs> Yeah, it Just, was awesome. I loved it. But I, loved every second I, of it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was a car crash, but it was a good. I'd like to give crash. a shout out real quick to Horace Hogan. He was in the NWO, yeah, so, right? Yeah, Horace Hogan uh, was in the games. If you ever played as him, I forgot what game. Thunder, he was in what was game? In Thunder. Thunder. Game. Really? Horace Hogan was in one of those games. He wasn't I in Revenge, was he? Horace Hogan no, he... played for the Lakers. Oh wait, no, that's Chris Common. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was in the. <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> dude Horace Hogan had his own weight belt <laughs> he also had his own beer Horweisers <laughs> somebody played I just found a video WCW may have quest for the best mode Hulk Hogan versus Horace Hogan Quest for the best mode in what game? Quest for the best in uh, WCW Mayhem. He was I'm in, trying to, uh, What attire did Thunder. he have in the game? He was in Thunder. He wore like the vest thing in Thunder. Here's did he wear the fucking white? Here, I said a He's picture of a horse. He's so cold in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Please send me it. Dude, this is so cold Steve Austin. I'm taking a picture of this right now. I'm going to post this on Twitter and I'm going to ask, who is this? <laughs> His, I name is, a photo his name is of, Michael uh, Balea. <laughs> this is Steve Austin. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. That is Steve Austin. With long I, pants. Oh wow. my god. I would like to give a quick shout out to Quit Bits Gaming for posting this video. WCW may have Quest for the Best, Hollywood Hulk Hogan versus Scuff Steve Austin. <laughs> This is insane. So he that yours is from Thunder or Nitro, James? Or Mayhem, you said, right? Mayhem. And Mayhem. Tony, you said he's in Thunder? He's in Thunder. There's a video of him like versus Scott Steiner or somebody. What gear? Reporter. Is it that gear? Or, or is it the is white? That... <laughs> is it the Stone Cold white sh- with the shorts? Oh, oh on, let me God. see. Let me Look see at the little there. baby hands in Mayhem. Yeah. So, Believe it or not, it's really hard to find Horace Hogan video game clips. On there's YouTube. no Horace Hogan gameplay? Horace I know Hogan. he was in this game though because he's listening. He was on, on the, the cover roster. of WWE 2K16. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. <laughs> Relive the Horace Hogan era by playing the 2K story. It'll How is great. Horace Hogan not in Backstage Assault? How? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, yeah. you're right. Yeah. <laughs> 